All right, my friends, what is going on? It's Jacob here, and welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. Today, we're almost in the top 50. We're at number 53. His name's Marcus Peters. He's a cornerback for the Ravens. He looks slight. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. He looks, you know what? I literally can only see about half of his body right now. I'm gonna say 6'1", 195 pounds. His name's Marcus Peters. Let's get into it. Marcus Peters, maybe 2'2", two two, maybe 2'4". Two He's having a good time, right? All these guys are having a good time. Marcus Peters, not on the list last year. Let's have a look at your stats. I love a bit of, Ma I love a bit of uh, Mark Ingram though, he is, he is a funny guy. Marcus Peters, there he is. Um, six foot, what did I say, six one, 195 pounds, he's, a, he's 197 pounds. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say I did pretty well there. He's played for three teams, which is surprising. He, he got drafted in the first round of the 2015 draft with pick number 18 to the Kansas City Chiefs. Then he was at the Rams for 18 and 19, including this last year. Then he got traded from the Rams to the Ravens, and that's currently where he is. He's made three Pro Bowls. He made, so in his second year in the league, 2016, he made first team all pro. Also that year he made the Pro Bowl, but he also made the Pro Bowl in 15, and then again in 19. So for 17 and 18, he must have been down on stats for whatever reason, but he's come back in 2019 and absolutely killed it. And we're about to find out exactly why. Marcus Peters began 2019 as a corner for the Rams covering the best receivers in the league. He launches left side. A quarterback or a receiver? Uh, let me see what is what is speed. 453, 37 and a half inch vertical, 10 foot broad jump, 17 reps on the bench. We saw every single ounce of his speed just then. That was nice. That was a great finish. Let's watch that again. Receivers in the league. He launches left side. 35 meters out. 35 yards. Oh my god, well he took a hit for his troubles, wow wait. Ugh. Peters has nine more interceptions than any other player in the league since he arrived in 2015. But six weeks into the 2019 season, he was traded to Baltimore for a reserve linebacker and a fifth round draft pick. In week 12, give the man some respect. He what? He got, he, got, he got an interception against his old team. <laughs> he got an interception against his old team. Is that what I just heard? It's his former team. Yes. How good. Yeah, boy. Abs oh, fucking oath it feels good. Yeah, he's not. He's, well, well, look at that. Make him pay. Yes, Baltimore fell in love with Peters from the moment he arrived. His first game as a, as a Raven, man, uh, we were in Seattle, tough game, uh, struggle back and forth, and I think they run an out route. Wilson steps up, pumps once, throws along the other side, intercepted. Go, son. Off. It's Marcus Peters. Four, five, six, all the way to the house. He is Get there. in the end zone on Sunday. The first week he got there, you know, pick six, I mean, it's not even like, oh, it's scheme. Like, no, that's just him. Oh, mate, that's a, that's, here, you know, said. that's a clean interception. You don't see too many interceptions as clean as that. You certainly don't see too many pick sixes as clean as that, but uh, I'm surprised. I am, especially against Russell Wilson. That uh, you knew that that route scheme was going to be ran in that situation, and he just kind of baited. Rushing and throwing it. Mm, he baited him into throwing it, didn't he? Gonna be ran and that's just Okay, so Russell Wilson, he's, he, he just he just pumped it down the middle of the field. He's decided, no, nah, I'm not going to give it to him. Number 18 is, well, he's relatively open. He's got at least eight yards of separation between him and P. 
Peters. But if we look at the way Peters is stepping, he can tell at this very moment that he's going to go for this interception regardless of what Russell Wilson does. Situation and he just kind of baited Russ into throwing it. And it worked. People don't understand, like, Marcus is a football junkie and, like, he loves ball. Like, he loves, like, the history of the game. He loves coverages. He loves knowing defenses. He likes knowing route schemes. <laughs> he sees the game better than really any corner I've really ever been with. Being around him, talking with him, like, yo, I see something here. And he's like, oh, I see everything. Not another one. Go! Go! Another touchdown. He loves that lane, doesn't he? Without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, that was, <laughs> that was really fun. I mean, admittedly, my favorite part of that was probably hearing Mark Ingram give his commentary because he is a running back and he is gonna be on this top 100 list. But anyways, guys, in the next video, we're looking at Chris Jones, a defensive tackle from the Chiefs. And with that being said, in my opinion, yeah, in my opinion, guys, you can't go past a bit of Tyreek Hill. So I'll see you soon for number 53 on the list, Chris Jones. Peace out.